Cloud communication systems of the future. Making voice calls using your internet connection will give you both better quality audio and a lower phone bill than with traditional telephone lines. Luckily, if you want to take advantage of this technology, all it takes is a compatible device. A good VoIP, that is, voice over internet protocol provider, will offer smartphone and desktop apps, making it quick and easy to get started making calls over the internet. But if you'd like a dedicated device for making VoIP calls, you'll need a VoIP desk phone, and this will require configuration. Luckily, VoIP phones are readily available on the market, and we're here to walk you through their setup. We're EA.com, making business easy. Today we'll be using a Grandstream GXP1625, but don't worry if you're using a different make or model of VoIP phone, setup is much the same regardless of the particular unit you're using. So follow along here and you should be fine. If you do need any more information, the FAQs on our website can help you out, so head to the description box below where we've left links to those. Out of the box you'll find the unit base and underneath the handset, three cables and a stand for the base. Connect the handset to the unit base using the coiled cable. Do make sure to connect the handset to the handset port and not the headset port. A simple mistake, but the device will not function if you get this wrong. Whilst the GXP1625 supports PoE, we don't have a PoE switch or injector to hand, so we'll be using the power cable to power the phone. If you have a PoE switch or injector and an IP phone that supports PoE, then the unit will be receiving its power through the ethernet cable obviously, so you won't need to use the power cable and can just set that aside. A quick note here to connect the ethernet cable to the LAN port and not the PC port. Once the phone is powered on and is connected to your network, you'll want to locate the phone's IP address. The method for doing this will differ depending on the model of the phone. For the GXP1625, just hit the button that reads next screen and you'll find it straight away. Other makes and models might require a bit more digging, but should still be fairly straightforward. Now just type the URL you noted down earlier into the address bar of any browser and you'll be taken to a login page, much like when you log into an ISP hub. Usually the login details are very simple, something like admin, admin, as is the case here. But check the documents included with your phone or check our FAQs, which are linked in the description if yours happen to differ. Don't be intimidated by anything you see here. We just need to go to accounts, account one and general settings. And we just need two bits of information and you'll find these with your VoIP provider. I'll take you through where to find them if you're using a yay.com account, but if you're using another VoIP provider, the steps will likely be very similar. So from the yay.com dashboard, head to voice, and users, and then just identify the particular user that you want to configure to work with your desk phone. The only two bits of information we need are the SIP username and SIP password, which are just right here. So if we want to set up user number one right here, we'll just copy, copy the username into the SIP user ID and authenticate ID fields and the SIP password into the authenticate password field. The server is talk.yay.com and you can name it anything you like. Just like that. Set the account as active, save and apply. And once that's finished applying, head back over to your yay.com account and the corresponding user should have turned green to indicate that this user is now registered and can begin making and receiving calls. The last thing that you're going to want to do if you're using yay.com is just make sure that call route is assigned so that an actual telephone number is linked to this user so that your phone can ring. For that, just head to call routes. Here we will just want to make sure that once the call is received, it's being sent to this particular user so down here you can see which telephone numbers this account has access to are assigned to this particular call route. So if any of these numbers are called now, the desk phone that we've just set up will ring.
That's it. Your VoIP phone system has increased its population by one and is fully functional. If you're interested in finding out more about VoIP or cloud communications in general, or are interested in taking advantage of this technology for yourself, head over to yay.com now to learn more about how we can help you. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And finally, if there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, leave us your ideas in the comment section and we'll follow up on those in the very near future. Thanks very much for watching and have a great day.